is recognized for as much time as she wishes to consume. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to thank the chairman and the ranking member for their help in considering the Green Mountain Lookout Heritage Protection Act today, a bill close to the hearts of many of my constituents who have been struck by a terrible tragedy. As many in this chamber know, on Saturday, March 22nd, on a mountainside in my district near the towns of Oso and Darrington, an enormous landslide occurred, almost unthinkable in size and scope, wiping out an entire neighborhood and destroying an important stretch of State Route 530, the primary transportation artery between Arlington and Darrington and other communities to the east. At least 33 people have lost their lives and more are still missing. The damage and loss caused by this disaster are heartbreaking, but the community response has been equally inspiring. People throughout the region have come together to support each other and do their part to aid in the search and recovery. In the days after the tragedy occurred, members of the community and the mayor of Darrington asked for support on issues important to the region. One of their requests to our congressional delegation, to Senators Murray and Cantwell and Congressman Larson and myself, was for our help to pass this bill. <laughs> Last year, I introduced the Green Mountain Lookout Heritage Protection Act in the House, and with unanimous Senate passage last week, we are one step closer to providing this community with a piece of good news and about a treasured local landmark. The Green Mountain Lookout, located in the Glacier Peak Wilderness, was built in 1933 as a Civilian Conservation Corps project to detect fires and spot en enemy aircraft during World War II. The Lookout is a popular destination for hikers near and far, and it is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. But it's also an important historic and unique part of the community of Darrington. Unfortunately, severe weather caused the Green Mountain Lookout to fall into disrepair in 2001, and the U.S. Forest Service began taking steps to preserve the historic structure for future generations. However, an out-of-state group filed a lawsuit against the Forest Service for using machinery to conduct repairs, and unfortunately, a U.S. District Court ordered the Forest Service to remove the Lookout. If Congress does not act soon, the Lookout will be removed for good. This lookout is a local landmark for the Darrington community and the Pacific Northwest, and is also a critical tourist attraction and economic driver in the region. At a time when this community is faced with a long, difficult road to recovery, we must do everything we can to help, including supporting the region's economy, and in this case, protecting the Green Mountain Lookout saves a cherished landmark and supports outdoor recreation and tourism, both critically important to the local economy. This bill is simple. It would allow routine maintenance while keeping this iconic structure where it's meant to be and always has been on Green Mountain near Darrington. Local governments in the area, my constituents, as well as a number of environmental and historic preservation groups support saving the lookout. This bill also saves money because it would cost more to remove the lookout than to keep it where it is. The Green Mountain Lookout represents a significant piece of Pacific Northwest history. It deserves to be protected for outdoor enthusiasts to enjoy for many years to come. This bill can't undo what's been done, but as the mayor of Darrington told me, it can be a, good, a piece of good news and a victory for an inspiring community that has gone through so much. Today, I ask all members of the House to vote for this bill and do their part to support this remarkable community and this historic landmark, and I yield back.